Buddy Heald, DeAnthony Melton, and Kyle Anderson. Those were three players who the Golden State Warriors brought in during this offseason with the intent of providing shooting, playmaking, and defense. Well, in the case of Kyle Anderson, don't expect too much shooting. But they weren't the only players who the Dubs picked up over the offseason with the hopes of adding shooting and defense. There was one other guy who slipped completely under the radar. A 27-year-old 6'6 sharpshooter who at one point in time was delivering DoorDash whilst playing semi-professionally. Yes, Lindy Waters has had an up and down basketball career, but Mike Dunleavy Jr. and the Dubs saw a skill set that they knew could benefit the Warriors. And five games into the season, he's already been a major contributor for the Dubs in back to back wins. Let's just take this back for a second. When the Warriors made the move to sign Lindy Waters, it was seen as a nothing move, to be honest. A guy who we knew could shoot based off his time in college and in the NBA, but he was mainly a garbage time player in OKC. Now, admittedly, OKC was one of the best teams in the NBA last year, and he was playing behind a lights-out shooter in Isaiah Joe, but I don't think most of us thought too much of it when the Dubs decided to effectively pay to sign Lindy Waters, paying for the 52nd overall pick, which they then traded to OKC. Well, now we know what Mike Dunleavy Jr. was cooking, and the reason I'm making this video is because we have more evidence than just one great game against New Orleans. Now, I can only speak for myself, but I assume you guys felt the same way. The moment I saw Lindy Waters getting serious minutes in preseason, I knew he was an NBA level player. Obviously, I had no idea how or when he was going to get minutes, with the dubs having another 12 guys on the roster who were also really solid NBA players with more experience than Lindy, but when the opportunity arose following injuries to Steph, Melton, and Wiggs, well, he showcased that the preseason was no fluke. And I just don't see how someone can't be a solid NBA player when you are six foot six with decent athleticism, decent defensive ability, and just lights out shooting. Look at him here getting the ball in transition. And if you want to see confidence, after only being on the floor for a couple of minutes, he stops on a dime, pulls up, and knocks down what was actually a two-pointer, which you know, it's still an incredibly confident shot in some of your first real minutes as a warrior. And that confidence is built from just being being a lights out shooter. Look at him this time bringing it up in transition. He gives it up to Trace before getting the Draymond handoff and using that screen to get his shot off. Or this time it's Draymond with the ball out top and Trace setting a pin down for Lindy to catch and fire. And then the most impressive of all the shots he made from the game against New Orleans was where he got the ball, ran a give and go with Loon and whilst fading in the corner, he knocked down the shot over for the contest. Now, just like the first play I showed you, his foot was on the line, which might be the only part of his game so far that really needs to be fixed up. But on a serious note, we saw all of this and more during preseason from Lindy, which told me this shooting was absolutely legit. But what really impressed me was in addition to knocking down his shots, he was active on defense, he was active on the offensive glass, he made some solid reads as a playmaker, and there were even glimpses of his athleticism on display. Like here where he recognizes the space in behind. JK makes a great pass, and I don't know about you guys, but that dunk certainly surprised me when I saw it. And I think judging by Steph Curry's reaction on the bench, it surprised him as well. Or how about this Euro step in transition? It feels insane that the dubs were able to get a guy with his physical profile and shooting ability for almost nothing, considering the demands for shooting in the modern NBA, particularly when you consider he's only 27 years old and there won't be any concerns over ego or receiving DNPs because he's still fighting his way in the league and is going to play at 100% whenever he gets a chance. And when I say he won't have an ego, just listen to what he said about how he had to make it to the NBA. Tell everybody how you got here. Yeah, it was a ride for sure. When um, expecting to be drafted by any means. Um, got hit with COVID my last year, senior year, and nobody knew what was gonna go on. Signed with the agent, went the whole summer, whole fall, um, whole winter of just working out, just training, trying to stay ready. And there was no like pickup or anything. I think uh, out at Robin Hill, 
They had like, you know, quiet runs, like no one could really know at like five in the morning. And I would go out there and just play against some grown men and just try to get some conditioning in, trying to stay ready at the health club. Mm-hmm. I lived there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the TVL, uh, the basketball league, it's like a domestic semi-professional league. Gave me something to continue to play, continue to grow. Uh, we had a great team. We went 30-3, and three, won the championship. That was more of a grind than the G League was. Oh, really? Yeah, because we would drive to different like cities the day of the game. It would be like 6 in the morning. I'd drive to Omaha or I'd drive to Shreveport uh, or Houston or Dallas and play the day of the game and then drive back. And then when I get home, like, uh, got to find out how to make some money. So I go DoorDash or I go cut some grass you know I was just trying to get by yeah. by any means um, to the next day just trying to survive. These are the kind of players just like Gary paid in the second that provide such a level of selflessness that can be infectious across the entire team because of how hard they've had to work to reach the NBA and according to Anthony Slater who many should know as a Warriors insider OKC thought very highly of him as a player as well. I'm around the Thunder some. I know plenty of people within the Thunder. They love him. They've been saying all summer they've been the ones like he could help get him him on the floor. They don't want to give him up. The problem is they just have so many players, first round picks, there just wasn't necessarily room for him. Now generally if Sam Presti loves you, if Steve Kerr and Mike Dunleavy Jr. recognize your shooting ability, and if you consistently perform every single time you step foot on the floor, that's going to tell me that you are a completely legit player. The problem for the Warriors still remains the depth of this team, but there are two ways to look at this depth. You could say it's going to be a nightmare for Steve Kerr to find minutes for everyone, which is true, but we all know injuries happen every single year. You pray they don't affect Steph, Wiggs, and Dre for more than just a couple of games, but outside of those three guys, you have 10 players who are all at a pretty similar level. And if injuries were to strike, it feels like the Dubs would be very well equipped to manage those injuries, which we can't say for a lot of teams in the NBA. Because how often do you see a team lose a couple of solid contributors off the bench, which doesn't seem like a major deal, but it affects the entire rotation and they subsequently struggle as a result. That's just not going to happen for the Warriors. Not to mention, it just gives them added versatility based on the matchup. You now have a guy in Lindy Waters who can give you that extra shooting next to guys like Draymond or JK, while still having some size and length on defense. If we've learned anything five games into the season, this depth that the Warriors have is going to be a positive and not a negative, and Lindy Waters is going to be a part of that Warriors depth. I can guarantee that. Now, if you made it all the way to the end of the video and want to see more content like this, consider subscribing. It's free. Dropping a like on the video would be much appreciated. Most importantly, have a great day. Bye.